function parameter and in this sales dashboard we are trying to implement dynamic measures to be implemented so let's say right now it is the sales dashboard if i click on the profit it should become the profit dashboard if i click here profit ratio it should change based on the profit ratio so that's how i'm trying to create a dashboard that should work dynamically so that we can do it using the action parameter so let's see how we can implement this so first of all we have to create a parameter in this parameter i will give here measure here a string and then discount then profit then profit ratio then quantity then sales now we have five measures uh, fields we have so let's implement this in a calculated field let me create one calculated field which is pass the parameter and in this parameter as a case statement and what is the parameter name that is select measures when discount then it is average of discount when profit then it is sum of profit when profit ratio then it is profit ratio because we already done the aggregation for the profit ratio so here we are not using sum as an aggregated function then quantity and this is a case sensitive so when you are giving the names you should give it a proper naming convention as well so sum of quantity then when sales then sum of sales then in this part now we created this click on ok click on ok so if i add here parameter i'm just adding here parameter so that you can able to see what is the changes happening So I will bring this out here and let me add in this section. So instead of sum, I will add here parameter. So let's say this I'm taking at the sales and pass parameter. So this is what we have created, right? So this calculated field, we will drag it out here and we will also drag it in the number as well okay so it remained the same so now here uh, i can see that it's changing based on my parameter selections but let's say if i wanted to change it based on my worksheet selection let's say i'm selecting here the label as a quantity label as a sales so it should change accordingly so let's see how we can make it this dynamic so here we can go to the dashboard actions and here we have the parameter action so i will add here parameter and here this is the customer distribution so before this let me just change the name of uh, the headers because this is little bit customer segments okay so go to the dashboard action and here you have to select action as a change parameter and here just select the field which you are going to select so this is our kpi overview click on the kpi overview parameter name select here select measures and the source field so here measurable fields click on ok click on ok now let's say profit profit ratio then quantity then the sales okay so if the same thing i wanted to implement 
I have to go to all the worksheet. Instead of the sum of sales, I have to drag, pass the parameter. Okay. And then here, just right click, hide this, right click and hide this. Go to this worksheet. Here also, drag, pass the parameter. Hide this, go to this worksheet, okay. And in this dashboard also, in this worksheet, go to here, instead of the number, track, pass the parameter. And colors, I'm just giving as a profit ratio. So that remain the same. So let's say if I'm selecting here quantity, so everything will change based on the quantity. If I select here profit, you can see everything will change based on the profit. The only thing remain is the headers. So we will change this as a dynamic name. So we will bring it here, add parameter, select measures. Okay. You can, if you want, you can just highlight this with uh, the different color combinations. Anything you can, uh, if you want it to define, you can define here. So instead of this, Add here as well, insert, measure name, select this, add here. So I'm just trying to make it a single color combinations. So drag here again, insert here, again the select measures and again define the color. Same with the last one and insert here measures and make it this as a different color yeah so if you select anything out here you can see the entire dashboard is changing right and the header as well we can able to change select measures so Yeah, so this is how you can able to change dynamically. So you will not require this parameter out here. So you can close this and this is how you can make it dynamic dimensions with the uses of accent parameter. Yeah. So after making dynamic measures to these dashboards, we can also able to create a dynamic dimensions so this dynamic dimensions will be the customer wise, location wise, the product wise. So let's see how we can make it that in a accent parameter, how we can in implement that. So here I have three KPIs, which I created for the customers, locations and the product wise. Just copy this and take the new worksheet and paste it out here. And now you will see it will create one clipboard as a customer locations and the product wise. And here I will take it as a shapes and in this shapes, I will drag this KPI so I can able to see here the KPIs. So for this locations, so here I have added dashboard icon and these are the four different icons I have added. How we can see here in a parameter dashboard icon. So this is a sign for the customer. This is a sign for the location and this is a sign for the product. Apply. Okay. I will just drag it on the column. I will hide this and let me make it in a full screen and let me increase the size as well. Okay. And here in the formatting, I will just remove this the row lines I will make it none so I, it is removed dashboard dimension KPI and I will bring it out dashboard dimension KPI out here and let me just increase this and I will hide this and I can see here it is uh, populated here so this is customer location and the product wise I will go back again and just remove this tooltip. I'm just removing the tooltip so that it will not keep. Okay, now how we can pass these three different 
the dimensions into the dashboard. So here, first of all, we have to create a dynamic parameter. So first we have to define the parameter. We have to string, select this, give this name as a dynamic dimensions, give it here customer, then location, then give it product. All okay. Parameter is created. First we have to create a calculated field. So in the calculated field, pass the dimensions and here the case statement and the parameter we have to give it which is the dynamic dimensions when customer then a segment when a location then region when product then category and end click on ok ok and instead of this segment drag the past dimensions past dimension and I will change the color combinations for this Sign this, apply, say for product, for location, and for product. Similarly, I will do it for, so here again, pass the dimension. So instead of this segment, I'm just dragging the dimension. Okay, so out here, the distribution is happening on the segment wise so it will distribution will happen based on the parameter wise now for for this let me just do the duplicate and here so for customer it should always select as a customer name for location it should always select as a state and for product Let's select the product category, subcategory. Yeah. So we are just doing little bit changes on pass para. Sorry. Pass this dimension. I'm just giving as a pass dimension as one. And this I'm dragging out here. And I'm dragging again. In a detail cell and here I'm adding the color combination let me just bring this dynamic dimension and let's see for customer is perfectly fine for location is perfectly fine and here we have to do small changes and the sorting customer wise product wise so how we can make it this dynamic this we can make dynamic out here go to the action so here we have to create the parameter action so again i have to create the new parameter option so change parameter so what is the name of this worksheet this is dashboard dimensions so let's see dimension kpi so this is the field which i have to select and target parameter is the dynamic dimension and then the field is kpi click click on ok click on ok so we can see it is changing based on the selection dimensions we can implement here the headers as well so here instead of customer we can here add dynamic dimensions and this we can identify with the different names or the colors okay and similarly out here so instead of customer we can make it here add dynamic dimensions and i can add here So here, instead of, you know, uh, the customer, we can make it dynamic to the headers as well. So you can add, and here, this segment will be not required because 
we're not only bringing customer we are also bringing the other details as well so instead of this we will be adding here dynamic dimensions so here based on the dynamic dimensions as a product or the locations or the customer the entire dashboards header and values and everything is changing out here yeah so that's it thank you so much